friends i hope you watched our previous session on introduction to tissues where we've explained how tissues are formed from cells in this session let's get to know the various plant tissues and their types as we all know our planet earth is home to diverse forms of life of which forests cover 31% of the world land surface and thus contribute to its significant green color these forests include 300,000 different types of plants that vary in shape and size these plants provide us oxygen for breathing food grain fruits and vegetables are the source of most of our medicines and drugs and many others and since we humans as well as other animals all depend on plants wouldn't we like to get to know these plants a little better now plants belong to a silent and simple world with varying life spans during which all plants carry out similar functions necessary for their daily living the very first of them being germination from a seed this seed when supplied with water soil air and sunlight begins to grow by giving off a root and a shoot both which continue to increase in length the shoot later forms the stem and starts giving off branches that bear leaves flowers and fruits which contain seeds for the next generation thus to support these growing plant structures the stem also thickens simultaneously the leaves with the help of a special green colored pigment called chlorophyll provide energy for the plant by using sunlight to make food this food in turn feeds the animals that are incapable of making their own food and hence have to rely on plants whereas the plant roots help in absorbing water from the soil as this is the only means by which water is available to plants young plants have a protective layer around their stem leaves and roots to protect them from any adverse environmental conditions which in older trees forms a strong bark around the stem accordingly growth followed by photosynthesis protection from the environment and transport of water from the soil and food from the leaves to the rest of the plant body a plant functions necessary for living which are carried out from a single spot or the area where they grow as plants are stationary thus we shall take into consideration each of the above functions and study the tissues associated with carrying them out efficiently so let's get to know the tissue associated with the first function of plants which is growth If we watch these plants carefully, what is the first thing that comes to our mind? That the small plant has grown into a big tree. Here we talk of growth in terms of an increase in size, which is possible only with an increase in the number of cells. In simple words, this means the formation or addition of new cells. as the plant grows bigger now you must be wondering how this increase in cell number is possible this happens by the process of cell division where repeated divisions of a cell take place to form two new cells and so on hence many such cells dividing in two leads to a subsequent increase in the number of cells as a result contributing to the growth of the plant all these continuously dividing cells 
together form the meristematic tissue where the word meristematic is derived from the Greek word meristos which means to divide or division the meristematic tissue for this reason is known as the growth tissue of the plant and consists of small densely packed cells now that we know the tissue responsible for plant growth let's go a step forward and observe the areas where growth occurs by watching the seed a seed grows or germinates by giving out a root and a shoot which keep on growing thus the meristematic tissue at the tip of the stem and the root is called the apical meristem where apical comes from the latin word apic which means the top and helps in increasing the length of the plant moving on the plant along with an increase in height also starts giving off branches and leaves this type of meristematic tissue occurring between the apex and the leaf is called the intercalary meristem it helps in increasing the size of the leaves and the internodes now over a period of days as the plant grows taller it requires a strong stem to support its increasing weight this is brought about by an increase in the thickness of the stem by the lateral meristem and as the word lateral suggests this tissue is situated at or on the sides of the stem and forms the bark of the tree this growth is due to the presence of meristematic tissues only in these specific areas of the whole plant so now we know what helps a plant to grow it is the meristematic tissue but before we end the session let's get to know an interesting fact about the fastest growing plant some species of this plant grow to about 35 inches in a day and have even entered the guinness book of world records any guesses which plant it is It's the bamboo plant. Do you know the reason for its fast growth? If yes, let us know in the comments below. If not, tune into our next session to find out the answer. Do share this video with your friends who find biology difficult. Also, do subscribe to Let's Tutor for further updates in biology. So till next time keep watching keep learning thank you